apologize. Had to stop there for a bit of a minute. We're actually shooting at such an amazing location. DNG, where are we again? Yo, man, we just want to say a big shout out to Silver Harbor for hosting us. So, Silver Harbor Apartments are in the uh, uh, Kilimani area, off Gong Road, Kinderuma Road. And the amazing Posh Plush uh, apartments, man. We have uh, two bedroom apartments, we have three bedroom apartments that are available for renting and for, for purchase as well if you're trying to be a homeowner. And the amenities are incredible. Like, it's a little bit boss. I'll, I'll take you around so you can see what I'm talking mm. about. From Indo. Kuna swimo. Kuna, kuna swimo boss. Indo pool heated. Musimo barid unengia pale bikini bikini. Kakash two shots to akuna enjoy man. Say. We have a gym fully loaded man. Say. For those guys who are fitness enthusiasts. We have a play play uh, ground area for the kids. That is Indo. We have an Indo and as well as a garden outdoor. Nice. So like if the kids are on holiday. Kama sayi time ya COVID. Na they want to play. That is Indo. Fall. So the toys have, don't have to get home as by playing and dancing in the rain. Mm. Uh, you know, we have lifts, we have power generator 24-7. That means, you know, oh, nice. uh, of course, yes, uh, 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 water, you know, most important things are water and power mm. 24-7. shida kama hizo lifts on each block security we have APs 24 7 up akuna wizi ugundi nini safe and secure and i believe that this is a place you want to live we can be neighbors <laughs> to rudy back in, to go to to continue with this conversation that you've been having about real estate you then took your tna investment and went and purchased a home yeah, so I, I started investing in Kitambo, but of course, yeah, TNA in Oh, so you already started before? Yeah, so you know, I, I have approached my, my my real estate investments is mainly off plan. Mm. That obviously has its ups and downs. So mm. off plan means that you, you invest in the property before it is complete. Yeah. So it's it's more affordable. Mm. Um, it's riskier. It's riskier because obviously there are a lot of unscrupulous uh players that obviously even for me in pigo pigo kidogo serious eh? yeah yeah i've uh, lost some money with unscrupulous uh players yeah past. you know one thing about business a size is that uh, the ups and downs and that's something nobody talks about i think sometimes we glorify entrepreneurship mm. hey. it's, it's a glorified uh, hardship hardship <laughs> obviously there are a lot of freedoms you have control over your time your decisions etc but when you lose money, you lose. And that's the big difference between entrepreneurship and being employed. Being mm. employed, the employer takes the burden, the yep. brute. Yep. When there's no biashara, you are still being paid. Eh? Until COVID, where guests were slashed 50% and guests were laid off. Previously, the employer would take hardship. Yep. And, 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 and that's the challenge. So it, when you are employed, there's that security, which again is, 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 a, is a flawed security because you can lose your job at any time. Yep. But with entrepreneurship, you take on the burden. The burden of lose, look, looking for clients, looking for employees, managing them, managing their business. So it's... it's, it's yeah. But it's a certain character that... Or personality that can be an entrepreneur. I don't think it's for everybody. Correct. Yo, bro, that thing is not for everybody. It's not for the faint-hearted. Eh, 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 <laughs> you know, man. You know, man. And yeah. it doesn't... It, 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 people say it gets easier. Not necessarily easier. It's just that you 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 learn how to weather the storm better. Mm, 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 mm. It's like how they say that the Bible uh, the Bible says that it's not that there will not be problems, but there shall be grace mm. to help you weather the storm. You see, I love it. Yeah. So una zoya, you harden, you toughen, you become more experienced. So how you manage crises and challenges is very different from when you start. You. You become a seasoned entrepreneur over years. Mm. Question: Your time now and um, One FM. Yeah. What did it do for you? One FM was very interesting. You know, I've jo I joined One FM, so I left One FM when I was doing campaigns. Mm. So, you know, I, I was doing countrywide yeah. tour all the time. Like, in fact, I used to come back to Nairobi, drop my bags, pick a new set of clothes, and chomoka. Again, yeah, like our transition period, like a layover mm. for, for flight attendants mm. and pilots, yeah, like that. And um, and you went across this country, across the country, from from uh, Nyanza to coast for a period across. of how long? Several months. Yo, about several months. Yeah. So there's no way you could have done this, and the money yeah. is good. The money is good. So I had and to take cash. a break. And obviously, I told the management I'm taking a hiatus. I took a break, you don't go. Then I came back to one FM. So they allowed you to come back? Yeah, it's like a sabbatical. So it took like a year off? I think less than a year. 
but six months a, yeah, a few months yes just a few months and then i came back so then interestingly when i came back to one fm the the md asked me to do a different show he asked me to do breakfast that was big breakfast is is, is, is a cup of tea mm. breakfast is the cafe latte and the cappuccino <laughs> in the coffee menu. Mm, it mm. is uh, it is the epitome it is the switzerland <laughs> of media so breakfast in radio is is, is like the number one property it's like the nine o'clock bulletin for television mm, 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 mm. yes so it was a very new challenge for me because i've been so used to dealing with this but the guy is so potential alex koske big shout out machine and 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 uh, he told me man i feel that you can do so initially i declined i refused i told him i don't want to do breakfast keep me on on the youth show but he felt like you have so much potential you're not utilizing tell come and engage these guys because breakfast now you're not talking just to youth but to any tom dick and harry who's going to work mm. in the morning who in fact was your ta for so, one fm obviously it's, it's a youth station mm-hmm. but you see now one fm was very popular in matatus mm. so the matatu audience is was there it's it's the makanga himself mm-hmm. it, it is the guys hustling kwa kibarua mm. a student going to school it's it's very diverse so it was a watu station also because we used to play kenyan and yep. african we never yep. used to play sg jz mm. international hits african as far as it goes it's i say nigeria uganda tz no so that audience was very was this a franchise that that was brought here so 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 or, or who set up on fm so the, the owner is alex kosge uh-huh mp okay. and again and when constituency big shout out mohesh <laughs> so so he owned he sold one fm last year to, to nlg radio yeah big, big uh, kevin, kevin mulay yeah so so he owned one fm and two fm what yeah those so, two fm yes at a point there was even hits hits radio yeah so two fm was 87.7 one fm was 97.1 for nairobi uh so i was given the challenge of breakfast i wasn't too sure how to communicate with this audience we are was it nini because breakfast the predominant topic is you know the big shows there was the political shows mm-hmm, and mm-hmm. there was the kind of classic mk mm. mk alwa fanya mambo ya relationships yes <laughs> him and uh, king angi so so that's the space i was immersed into so i felt like because my target audience is not the politics guys mm-hmm. it's not was there it's youth but it has to take a very a more serious tone than evening where we're talking about relationships mm. mamas, clubs you know? so here now i came up with very unique ideas i came up with something like uh, the hustle yako hour where we used to talk about uh, biashara from 7 a.m to 8 a.m every weekday uh, the first time i wore my t-shirt mm-hmm. and my friends my boys saw it they all ordered for like each a piece okay. and that's the first day i made a uh, 10 g's out of it that's so awesome. how old were you at the moment i was acting thank you you first you know 18 when you first 10 g's at age 18 that's so awesome. <laughs> come rugby see your duty yeah yo bro so how did you come up with the design did you draw it yourself or you worked with somebody no, for the design and i came up with the design when i was in high school when i was in four two so you're an artist i'm an artist i i, I practiced art and design back in high school okay so uh the design was just uh i just came up with an idea i drew it and i didn't think this idea was going to be like a print that's going to be on uh that's going to be like a fashion line like clothing mm-hmm. and uh three years later i wore my first t-shirt and that's how it became and people liked it so i, I had to come up with a name and call this company it's, I, i couldn't call it alone nairobi because i have to expand it yeah so i had to go back to the nickname that i was given and that's I, hear i hear you and of course we're seeing where this brand has expanded too shortly it's uh one of them 97.1 money monday as you can see a young hustler ceo when you come raggy tucci lifestyle if you got any questions hit us up you know what's up it's just on two three nine seven one nine seven one back i do uh live in concert where i bring in artists and give artists a platform to talk about their grind for what they need what they need should they be saying oh about in january was kudanganye was kudanganye wana ingiza deck deck wana ingiza sana walikuwa na ingiza deck kutoka november to january kama ulikuwa umejipanga you should not yeah shukuru come on in fact you should be doing 
challenge it like and charity. Now, now about your what to yeah and charity and stuff. Like, Look guys up, man. Like, like now we're like, going to Machakos, bro. Yeah, today yeah, 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 for the King Kaka yeah, yeah, yeah. Sanitary. Oh, yeah, exactly, yeah. man. So give back, so man. give back because you've had a good year. Sure. Know? live in concert where I bring in artists and give artists a platform to talk about their grind and get DJs live every Friday to throw down. Mm -hmm. We even grew that property to do Facebook Live, Instagram Live, brought in Vixens mm. who would talk on the show. Maybe you will show guys a sample. You know what? <laughs> of how it used to be. <laughs> so, um, you're the one who you had the liberty to, oh, first of all, did you have a co-host? So initially I didn't. Mm -hmm. and, then, and then throughout that journey, I now did a thing called the next big radio host competition. So our first winner was Sarah Hassan. Yo. Sarah Hassan was my co-host for a time. She never used to come to work. <laughs> so we had to let her go. <laughs> radio, we had to let her go, no, bro. But, but dude, let me just say this. Morning radio is not for the faint hearted. Hey, waking up, Sarah, I, like, I just explain I you, I Exactly, just explain. I just put job. <laughs> so I had to do the competition again. What time did you used to wake up? You see, my show used to start at 6. So obviously I'm waking up at about 4.30. 4.30, latest to 5 when I'm really late. Like... When I'm really, because sometimes you get so tired. Because see, I'm, I'm doing early morning radio. I'm loved. I've, I've done a gig jana. I've been here the digs at like two yani or one. I loved. Uh, I've, I was doing an activation, a client deadline for reports. We were missing that deadline, so I have to work over time. So that in the morning I party. You get what I mean? Like juggling was really crazy. Every day, Monday to Friday, you have to Monday be there Friday. at. Five latest. And you have to be consistent. Then with the radio, morning, especially especially breakfast, you have to read the newspaper. Okay, okay, because okay. you have to be uh, in, in tandem touch. and mm. in touch with, with the country. You're setting, I used to call my show, the platform and the voice of the Kenyan youth. So when I say good morning, Nairobi 97.1, Mombasa, what, 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 Nakuru, nene, nene, I'm, I'm telling you guys, listen, this was happening. This is the scenario from a youth perspective. Yeah? And this is how we, I, we, I feel about it. How do you feel about it? Simu inaanza kulia. Ata kabla ningie wani. So I'm cutting calls, putting them on. I'm playing songs. I'm getting links. I'm reading tweets. What? So I was solo initially. Then I got uh, uh, Sarah who, Sarah who <laughs> <is Kevin Jobo. laughs> Then I did the competition again. Next big radio host. Then we got uh, Lulu Saidi. Mm. Lulu Saidi was my host uh, for quite a bit. And then, and then, and then she left radio. Then, as I was coming to finish my towards this journey, I, I, I went back to school for my master's, masters. did a global executive MBA at USIU. Mm -hmm. And so we'll talk about that we'll because about what, that, yeah. yeah. And then, as I was finishing my master's, I felt like I needed to grow my, my, my company. So, I set up in Uganda and Tanzania. So, I left again. I left one of them again. Now here, not as a sabbatical, but I just resigned and said, guys, I, please give me some time to focus on, on this. Then at, later, I joined again for the uh, last yeah, round. Yeah, 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 yeah. Round, around the attack. Mm. That time's a charm, yeah. So let me ask you, when NRG bought it, they don't really use the station right now. They use the frequency. They use the frequency, yeah. So, so NRG is literally on 1FM right now. On the frequency, yes, 97.1. Uh -huh. Yo, okay. Mm. Hey, bro, you've done a lot. Because we're not even talking now about Switch TV and things like that. Yeah, but let's, yeah. okay, let's go back then into, at least I'm underst I've got a better understanding. 2012, we're 2012 right now, yeah? Because we've talked about, remember, Lizai? Yeah, campaign into 2013. Into 2013. What, what's, what's cutting right now? So now, even, so now after that, now I got into television. So I've done a lot on TV. Uh, my first TV stint was Kiss TV. Uh-huh. Then after Kiss TV, I did a project for uh, called Malta Guinness Street Dance Competition. Right, no, I performed Remember that. that eh? I, even, I was one of the artists. Yeah, so I hosted that. It was aired on KTN. Mm -hmm. So I did those. There was the Kenya one, then there was Pan African, then there was the International. Yeah. Then after that, I think the next thing was, uh, if I'm not wrong, Malta Guinness. There was a fat Mike Strand. Yeah, Mike Strand. Yeah, once yeah. again. So you yeah. see, again, relationships. Yeah. Long term. Like I've worked with Mike on many projects for many years so then now you've been called as a host I as mean, a now I, 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 it's a show that's it's like a show that's been created so this has been filmed in, in, yes. in, 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 yeah yeah so now they're calling you as a host as for a that tv presenter yes yeah. so i did that i've done uh, sakata Mashari, sakata on uh, citizen well, TV, as, as, the... as a tv host i want everybody on their feet you guys Let's go! 
something how we do it in the hood yo so say makasi no money nakasi sana basini sana oh i like welcome once again to kenya baby ah sante sana i'm already home naka 50 50 eh one of me one of me aye 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 those at home karibu sana it's sakata mashariki Bigger than most, yo. Definitely, definitely. It's been it's been quite quite an entertainment uh, actually. Three countries. De oh yeah. Kenya. Uganda. So oh, oh one of Remember uh, Sakata yes, the yeah, dancer? Yeah, that was huge as well. Yeah. I was Sakata for three years. You were on it for three years? Yeah, back to back. I'm the only host who's done more than one year. <laughs> every host was being dropped after every year. Wow. <laughs> so I came and stabilized. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, Latifa. Ashira and team. Thank you. Bra, so you've worked across media stations. Yeah. Okay, which other ones? Where else have I've you? I've worked. Uh, Anything on DSTV, Maisha Magic? Yeah. No, not ma okay. Maisha Magic, Africa Magic, Swahili. I did uh, Sumula Penzi. Mm -hmm. I was there, I was acting. I was acting as a radio DJ. Haha, <laughs> what it do, what it do? This is 77.7 Sizzle FM with the one and only Tash on the ones and twos, yo. Mariam. Tash! Siku juu naweza nilipa Renko ku support madem. Kuna vitu zingine cha pa hizi nunua. What it do, what it does, na kumbia ni Noma. Yo, my name is David Songibuini, aka Mr. D to the N to the G, East Africa's number one hype man, and I'm acting as Tash on Sumula Penzi. Tash is this cool guy, he's a young Jama, um, he's been through a lot in life. Um, the story that is revolving around this particular character is that uh, Tash has had this chick a while ago. Mariam is, is lost in this world. Mariam uh, has no job. Mariam has nothing that she does that is of importance apart from just hooking up with old people for money. Mariam, her weakness is Tash, the ex-boyfriend. Maisha. Tash is kindly dating someone else and this chick is now a gold digger just on the hustle for money. But Tash still feels this mama. Uh, so Tash is dating uh, Olive currently. Uh, and uh, Olive is this tombed chick um, who doesn't mind spending a little bit of money on entertaining Tash. My number one cheerleader. My amazing boyfriend. Tash. <laughs> Now, as you can see, this is the, the studio. Um, look around you, it's all fresh all day. This is 77.7 .7 Sizzle FM. So Tash is the uh, senior presenter on this uh, station. And um, he's a loved guy. And my fans want to ask And, uh, you know, it's Tash's first job and he's loving it. What guys should look forward to uh, as far as this show is concerned is to be blown away. <laughs> What I like about this particular show is that it's real, it's relevant and uh, the characters and the storyline is something that you can relate to whether you're in Kenya or you're in Mozambique or you're in South Africa or Nigeria, it doesn't matter, it's day-to-day -day issues. Stuck. Party people all across Africa. My name is David Songibuini, aka DNG. They call me East Africa's number one hype man, and I'm acting as Tash. Party people, don't get it twisted. This is Sumula Penzi on Africa Magic Swahili. Uh, my role was called Tash. I was this smoothie who was confusing this Bruh, rich, this you rich, acted. rich guy's Chile. <laughs> <laughs> Someone here in my team is like, oh my god. <laughs> yeah, well, like, that, that's my story, that's my character. Yeah. You know, and then. I, I, I execute that effortlessly, man. You know, I'm just a ladies, man. You know what I'm saying? Talking about, can I ask a tough one? Yeah, sure, bro. 
Let's talk. Can you talk about your marriage? Yeah, At this yeah, time, have you gotten married? I got married in um, in 20, 2015. 